Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious cheeseburger. But if you're in the LA area, you got to stop at Gold Burger because they are serving the best cheeseburgers in LA. And since I've been after a delicious burger for about three weeks and Cloud just continuously teasing me, today is a day that I'm going to hook myself up with a delicious burger worth my time. Because you know what it's like when you really want that burger and all of a sudden you bite it into one from a trusted place and it doesn't work out? Well, I'm not gonna run through any complications. I'm gonna make it today. So let me show you how I season a juicy, delicious burger. To your ground beef, you're gonna add your seasoning. And since not all ground beef is created equal and you do need a delicious cut of ground beef in order to achieve a delicious burger, but guess what? We don't all have access to that, don't worry. Chicken bouillon will correct every single little flavor you're looking for. I know you guys are gonna be like, you put that in everything, yes. Almost everything. Almost everything, it's a lifesaver, and um, the combination of the chicken bouillon that I'm using really allows that beef flavor to come through, okay? So we're just gonna start here, breaking it down. You guys are seeing a lot more fun food because my kids have already had a coaching uh, conversations with me. <laughs> They're like, we love your food, mom, but we need a little bit of uh, Americanized food and I'm gonna bring it. And since I've been wanting a burger for a long time. How, what has it been, like three months? It's been a really long time. When we went to go pick up the puppy, um, we had a burger at the airport and I was like, no, I'm not gonna finish it. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Okay. And now I'm gonna add my salt and pepper. You know you have to have the right amount of fat in your, in your ground beef. And today I was lucky to find um, three pounds of Angus beef, ground beef, for about $12. Oh yeah. That's a good deal. <laughs> yeah, that was a good deal for me. It's like almost like I'm amasando right here with this mm -hmm. ground beef. All right. Yeah, we did pretty good here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them into little balls, okay? I'm over trying to get all my burgers to be round and mm -hmm. perfect. Pack it in good, nice little ball and place it there. And you're gonna make your uh, burgers whatever size satisfies your little heart, your family's heart, and go from there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so happy I get to eat a burger right now. I'm happy for you. I've never had pastrami on my burger. Can you believe this? But I have a lot of friends here that are from LA and apparently it's a thing for you guys. Mm -hmm. I want what you're having. <laughs> I've had it before, it's pretty good. You know, I don't have complaints when I go to California to eat. Oh yeah. I complain about a lot of food, guys. I'm a foodie and I am honest uh, with my taste buds. Mm -hmm. Just because it's hyped, I don't agree to things. <laughs> right. So I'm excited for this. I always felt like pastrami was a very East Coast thing to eat. I think it is. Isn't it? <laughs> it's coast to coast now. Yep, it is. Nice and packed. So I'm just going to continue to do these to all of our ground beef, okay? Hang tight. I really like that concept of a homemade burger because there's so many burgers that just have way too much nonsense in them. And I think when you make them at home, for some reason, it's like comforting, you know? And juicier. Juicier, has more flavor, and it has a lot more love. Yes. Because I actually quit a few uh, food chains. Really? You guys don't want to hear this one, but I'm going to tell you. It's coming. 
I don't eat at McDonald's anymore. I attempted it one time and I went 10 months without it. And then right now I cannot remember the last time I went to McDonald's. I can, it was in Wyoming. Oh my gosh, that was yep. in Cheyenne. Yeah. That was the last time. Oh girl, that's been a while then. It's been years. And the kids don't eat it. Yeah, cause I can't, I think I had it on the channel for mukbang with the grizzly, but I don't know. All right, friends, time to cook these burgers. Let's do it up. All right, see you on my pan. To my medium hot pan, hey, it's a grandfather pan. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add my burger, okay? I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. So I'm gonna start pressing it down. Ooh, very nicely. Careful not to get burned, guys. And this is the technique that a lot of uh, hamburger places use, right? Yes, and I like it better because my burgers always end up coming just completely off, like in the roundness. Yeah. I can make them perfect, but it takes time to get to that step, you know? Yeah. And when you're making burgers for your family, it's super, it's supposed to be easy, quick. Put the, um, put the ground beef on here and let's get started, all right? What I really liked was this idea of putting the onions on the top and pressing it in. Just like that. Instead of cutting them up and putting them in the patty and all the juice is, co is coming out right on the outside. Right. So. We're not gonna flip our patty until we see the juice is coming out through the other side. I'll show you guys what I mean in a minute. Or a little longer. <laughs> Any one of those little pressers that they use at those shops, they're pretty awesome. Yeah. What are they called? If you guys don't have that, that masher thing. I have that masher, but I don't know if it's gonna do it. Let's see. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can do it with my masher here. Without bringing in the. Okay, these are little groups. Looks a little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I like that. I don't know, somebody on the channel uh, told me that what this was for, because I use it for mashed potatoes and mashing things, but they said it was used for something else. I can't remember what it was. For creating pasta? No. Huh? I don't know, girl. Can't remember. Wish I did. But that's whatever it's meant for, we don't use it for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Not purposely, I just found another use for it. Ooh, yeah. I want to know in the comments, what's the best burger you've ever had and the worst burger you've ever had? My worst burger was at the airport. Oh, come on. Just because it's fresh in your mind. <laughs> All right, that one's ready. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the juice part. You can see the juices there. Okay. Yeah. I'm really excited. My mouth is watering. I have my hot oil over here ready for some french fries. Woo! Apparently she's hitting the own bowl over here. Yeah. You know I always get that bowl every time that um, I'm at your place. <laughs> That's when I want to strike. So the bowl. So I'm going to be using some delicious brioche buns I purchased at my grocery store. And I'm going to be toasting them because I really dislike. Uh, the soggy bun. Nobody likes the soggy bun. No, that gets me worked up. 
when all the oil drips in there. Ugh. Is this even good tasting oil? It's not that hot chicken oil? It's not. It's not the hot chicken oil. Oh, that would taste really good with the mixture on this burger, girl. Don't get me started on that oil. <laughs> you give that onion back. Let's see how you're you go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, they say you should only flip your burger once. And granted, on my little thing here, it's not caramelizing. Really. Should I think I need to turn up my heat, girl? Turn it up. I'm going to turn up my heat. Ah, oh, got me. You're the one that's over there touching the pan with your bare fingers. Beware, I don't recommend you guys touching anything in here with your fingers. How to get so worked up. <laughs> Bendito. Mm -hmm. I always tell you guys to be patient. I'm a little impatient right now. I just want to flip it and go to town. I'm going to pull my foot up. So. <laughs> <laughs> the barrier. I think we're safe to flip here, guys. There, you got it. See, you can see the little juice coming out through there. Mm -hmm. That's when you want to flip it. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese on there. Yeah, I should have pressed the onions in a little bit um, harder in there. I'll do it on the next one, guys. This one's ready to come off. Okay. We got the red light special over there, guys. Keep our food warm. Woo! I'll give you the red light special. Oh, you're not going to finish it? <laughs> I'm mesmerized right now. <laughs> I can't see. All right. I'm going to put my cheese on this side so that all my onions stay on here. Oh, there we go. Ooh. With the paper? Yeah. Yeah, apparently with the paper. I'm going to put it on. Está poniendo bien juicy esto. You look like Spongebob right now flipping the... Like what? Flipping the patty? Yes, bro, yes. I feel like I look more like um, Patrick, but I behave more like Spongebob. Very <laughs> always in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to get all these over here. All right, let's try and do it again, but this time we're going to try to keep the onions in there. Yeah? Okay. This is where I'm going to try and press it in. I know some people make onion in with the hamburger, but... I usually do, but I really like this concept. Yeah, because when you flip it over, it, it um, caramelizes your onion. Mm -hmm. It looks like a star, the burger. <laughs> yes! Hold me close to tiny dancer. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I have a method, I don't have enough space. <laughs> yeah, 
have enough space for it too, right? Yeah. We're gonna make it enough space, okay? Yeah. Girl, when we go to LA, we're gonna go um we're gonna go get a burger and we're gonna go get some of that pizza, girl, that parking lot pizza. That's on our on our top. Yeah. Yes. Priority. I don't know. I might get myself like going on a foodie like road trip for Christmas. Yep. And it has a perfect spend it. I'm breathable. thinking about wearing a muumuu. Okay. That sounds oh it's gonna be cold. I'm gonna be layered, okay? <laughs> don't worry, there's gonna be enough space. Don't flip it. This one needs to be flipped. What do you mean don't flip it? Yeah. Mm, good one. For those of you that like your food salty like me, once you flip it, go ahead and add a little bit of more of a sprinkle of salt. It's very Warren Buffett of me, but... <laughs> Why Warren Buffett? Girl, haven't you seen Warren Buffett eat a burger? No. <laughs> you serve him a burger, he'll open it up, and at the bottom he'll add a sprinkle of salt. I got a lot of things from reading a biography, but never thinking about a burger. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you're a foodie, girl. <laughs> I skipped that part, I guess. <laughs> ignore, ignore child, all right? <laughs> I don't know. She misbehaves whenever I want a burger, so. There you have it. There you have it. I'm trying to be on my best behavior right now. I've ruined her burgers many a time. By saying I'm going to get you a burger, and I don't. You don't. You make no. me pay for it. Mm -hmm. And nobody wants to eat a burger alone. You yeah. know? Well, that's true. That's why I'm here supporting you. And then like most babies, they settle for like McDonald's burgers. So it's like they really can't give you too much input, you know? They're like, just give me my cheeseburger, mom. Give me my nuggets. Yep. All right, we're flipping. I put my thing down, keep it in your I just dip it instead of flip it. No, this is, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing the touch, guys. Girl, what? that hurts my ears. What does? The bone. That doesn't hit the correct chakra when you do that. But this bird is going to hit your gut chakra. Pero no hay problema, eh? Es que como muchas hamburguesas sátiras que nos tenemos. Un de sus hamburguesas sátiras es crazy. Now it's time for the cheese, and we're going to assemble this burger with the Ali recommended pastrami burger. The Ali special? Yeah. Look at that. I actually like pastrami, believe it or not. Yes, I do as well. Good. I feel a song coming on. And you know what it is. What? Is it song? Nope. No, it's one of fire today? You hear the wind beneath my wings. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it must have been cold, Mary. Girl, I don't know what I have popping in that oil. Oh. Okay. We're on our worst behavior today, guys. Sorry. We're acting like teenagers with these burgers. Yep. Me botó. I was gonna start. I don't know. We're doing karaoke today. Apparently, all these songs are coming to my mind. That's what happens when you're hungry. Let us know if you guys want to see us karaoke on the other channel. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> We're horrible. It's like listening to two cats. Chalkboard and nails. Midnight. Howling for you to let them in. It's bad. But you're guaranteed to have fun. It's like Cameron Diaz when she sings at uh, My Best Friend's Wedding. It's similar to that. It's very intensive, isn't it? All right, we're ready to flip this, baby. Let me flip it so I can show you guys. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Wonderful. All right, friends. I'm going to make some french fries, and I'll see you guys on the island so we can assemble our hamburger.
you're gonna add your condiment of choice. For me, we're going with mayo. This is so delicious. <laughs> I've been picking at it, guys. Now we're gonna add our coleslaw. The recipe for the coleslaw is in the description area. It's just put it all in a bowl and mix it. That's what it boils down to, friends. You guys ready for a tasting? Mm-hmm. Oi, ay, ay, ay. How's that? Mmm. Guess what I forgot, my pickles. I love pickles in my burgers. Especially with this one, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, now I'm ready to taste this. Yes and yes. After years of waiting for a bite of a hamburger. You have me a napkin? <laughs> this is amazing. Um, you guys know how much I love coleslaw. That's a bonus in here, but this combination, good lord, award winning. Do you like the pastrami in there? I just love the pastrami in here. I don't even care for fries right now. I'm just gonna be two burgers. <laughs> Much better. I don't know the um, the creaminess of the coleslaw, but the pastrami in here and the cheese. Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. How's your shrimp burger? It's a work of art. A work of art. Good job, guys. You nailed it on this one. And on that note, she's heading for her second one. And she'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> for real. This is amazing. If you guys are near LA to these birds, I don't know what you guys are doing on the weekends, but you know where you need to go because I think their shop is only up for like six months, girl. And then don't they need to be a permanent thing. Yeah, and then the lines are mm -hmm. extremely long. And they sell out quickly. You guys need to go. All right, friends, I hope you enjoy making this burger with me. If you guys recreate this at home, please let me know in the comments. Tag me on Instagram and definitely tag me if you guys go to Gold Burger to have one of their delicious burgers. That's going to make me super happy and excited that day. So I want to thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Adios.